Hey guys, it's Joel of Punchers Paintball. Today we are bringing you another product review. We have the Bunker Keens Command Paintball Mask. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment, let us know what you think about the Bunker Kings Command. Follow us on Instagram, find us on Facebook, and we'll catch you after the intro. All right guys, so the Bunker Kings Command is part of the Virtue Bunker King Mask family. This is more geared towards people who have bigger face, larger head. Like so, myself. That's right, yeah. You've worn these before, haven't you? Yes. How do you like them? I love them. That's why we're talking about them. That's right. But anyway, so that's, that's kind of the segment they were trying to gear this towards. Obviously, it's a pretty attractive mask, but it does use the same lens as the other masks in that family. So the Ascend, the Contour, all that. But next, we're going to hit the unboxing segment and show you what all it comes with when you buy it. Okay guys, so we have our Bunker Keens Highlander Camo Command Mask here, and um, whenever you purchase a Command Mask, it's going to come in this cardboard box. It's a nice stylish box, uh, but it is just cardboard and chances are you're just going to end up throwing it away. Yep. Um, so as we open our uh, Command Goggle box here, obviously it's going to come with, a, uh, with your Command Mask. Um, it's going to come with a chin strap and what's cool about the chin strap as you guys can probably see there is that it does have a like a wee kill sucker so it is like a nicer chin strap than just your basic chin strap that's going to come with some other mask. Um, also inside the mask or in the uh, box, in the, box. <laughs> the, mask, <laughs> the box is going to be a individualized uh, goggle bag based upon the exact type of um, goggle that you order. So what's cool is it that the goggle bag is going to match the color um, of your command mask. So if you have, say, the the um, graphic fire mask, you're going to get something that's going to be a goggle bag that's going to be black and red, and then obviously camo with the Highlander camo. And that's basically it. That's all that the command mask comes with. Um, they give you a discount code. Because <laughs> you rock. Right. But we're not going to uh, talk about that portion. Needless to say, uh, Command Mask is going to be the main thing that we're all looking for here. But the goggle bag is definitely a nice addition. Um, and I like the fact that it's not just standard across the board, across all the colors. You're going to get a really cool goggle bag with it to protect your mask. All right, Joel. Let's talk features on this thing. What yeah, do you think so, about the mask? Well, it's probably one of my favorite high-end masks. Um, the Command Mask is phenomenal. It's very comfortable. Um, you're going to get a lot of breathability with it. It's super comfortable. Um, the rubber portion on the bottom here as well as the ears are going to protect your ears and protect your face But it is really comfortable and it's very breathable and everything else like that. It's very soft rubber So it's not going to like irritate your ears much, which is really nice mm -hmm. um, And there's just it's loaded with features first off. It does have a micro visor um, Which is kind of unique to the command mask as you can see here uh, it's just a nice little protection for your lens. Say if it's sprinkling out or something like that, it's going to give you a little protection. It's also <laughs> kind of stylish, I think, yeah. personally. Like, it looks really good. Um, and what's also cool about the Command Mask is that you can attach a vial visor to it. So, oh, for real? Yeah, so you can attach a vial visor to it on top of that. Say if you're having issues with, like, rain or something like that, and it's, like, really pouring outside and that micro visor isn't doing it for you, mm -hmm. you can actually adjust and put the like a full out vial visor on it to protect and it basically just sits on top of the the micro visor which is really nice as i'm looking here the micro visor itself does not come off though if you somehow that get this correct. off your mask you have broken it so. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct micro visor is on there to stay um but you know obviously i don't think it really affects your field of vision or anything else like that um so it's just it is there to stay but it i think it belongs there so i like that bunker keens did that with the command mask it's definitely a feature that is an offer on any other mask. This foam is definitely firm, like it's not going anywhere, but it doesn't feel like it would get irritating to my face at all. It's yeah. also, they, they put their own branding inside of it, their logo, which I think is actually a neat little, little add-on. And as we've talked about with a couple other masks before, they actually leave the gap in the foam as well for glasses wearers and yes. stuff. That's probably also why you like it a little bit, right? Do you wear your glasses when you play um, sometimes? I actually, I actually don't wear my glasses anymore because I noticed that my glasses themselves were, was what I was having issues with um, fogging. Um, but in the event that like I'm just wearing it for a short period of time or something here at the store to do like a video or something, um, yeah, it is nice and you're not gonna have that issue of like really crushing on the sides of your glasses. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, the foam is like a better quality too, something that I'd like to mention is that the foam is much better quality than like the Vio Ascend okay. or even the Contour 2. 
um, it's a little bit more firm and you can also snap it on, snap it off. Um, so you can replace the foam on it, which is really nice. So it's a, like an aftermarket purchase thing that you can, you know, say you wear your foam on it and everything else like that. You're not left super gluing your foam uh, like you are with some other cockles. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so if I look at the strap here, I this is this looks like a seatbelt. Like <laughs> it really it does. Yeah, dude. They, yeah. they they really went to town on making sure that like the branding was seen, the color scheme matched the rest of the mask. Yeah. I want to kind of see here because I've I put these on before. I'm not gonna put this one on, but I put these on before. And my head just isn't really the sizing for them. Mm -hmm. um, I can't even get my fingers yeah, to so like, pull it apart. <laughs> so what I like about the Command Mask is that it fits like all kinds of different faces. It fits my face. I'm a big dude. <laughs> I'm a little chubby. And it still fits my face. Like I've worn it in a tournament before. I absolutely loved it. It was super comfortable. Um, I did notice that when I put the mask on, it was relatively close to my chin which mm -hmm. i didn't like okay um but that's just because like almost every single mask that i wear is like that just because i'm a bigger dude so um but yeah it is really nice uh the the color matching is really cool between the goggle bag plus the goggle strap for every single <laughs> different color of the command mask it's going to match which is really cool here's a question would this be yeah. pro pad compatible yes yes you can put a pro pad on it which is really nice i've seen some players do that um, the other thing that I like to mention is that the strap itself is thicker than most other goggle straps. So that's really nice. It's going to adhere to your head better. So like Doug, you mentioned the pro pad. I think the reason the majority of paintball players put that pro pad on is because they feel like they don't have enough firm grasp, like mm -hmm. the i5. The i5 is really nice in that sense. It has that, you know, that backward portion yeah. Yeah, to adjust your, um, to adjust your tightness on your strap. But what's really cool about this is like it's just really thick and you're not going to have any issues with it like really sticking to the back of your head which is really nice um so that's really cool you know the like you had mentioned before uh the lens system mm -hmm. right yep. so the lens is still it's the same as the rest in the family of virtue masks that are currently out i personally like the field of view that i get with it uh, i'm a contour 2 wearer mm -hmm. and i feel like i can see forgot about that <laughs> yes I am, I am i'm a contour two that's why you guy. want to talk about the contour so yeah. bad <laughs> yeah uh there, there will be a comparison don't worry but oh, yeah um yeah no i i think that lens system is absolutely just i don't know i i personally like it plus what i like about the fact that they use the same one per mask say you already have a contour 2 you have that nice colored lens that you want you buy one of these, it doesn't come with the one that you want, you don't have to go buying another lens. Yep. Interchangeable, and that's just, I yep. I appreciate that from a standpoint of what the brand is. Right. So. Yep, and obviously it's thermal pain, almost, you know, when it comes to the colors, the color of the mirror lens is, and everyone comes with a mirror lens besides the Black Samurai or the Black Ninja, that's a smoke lens, but basically every lens matches the color of the mask and like matches the scheme so everything is matching i'm a big match guy like i love matching when it comes to paintball gear mm -hmm. i love the fact that every single one of these matches like the the chrome on this looks sick i think in my opinion and it's really cool design um as far as changing out the uh changing out the lens it's the same uh system as changing out like your contour 2 or your bio Ascend or anything else like that which is really nice and i'm gonna go on a little bit of a rant when it comes to lenses uh Doug, I think you nailed it on the head. What's really nice about Vio lenses specifically is that the price of them are like right around half of what you're going to pay for a lens of different masks. So most other masks retail for anywhere from 50 to 60. The Vio lenses retail from anywhere from 30 to 38. So that's really nice. Like you can basically buy two extra lenses, different colors, different designs, and everything else like that, and still be at the same price as you would to replace one lens when it comes to any other mask. As a former dye user, I was out of necessity from a sponsorship I was playing under, mm -hmm. but I, I I love that. Yeah, <laughs> my, I mean, my wallet yeah, loves dude. that. Right, and what's cool too is Virtue offers you a million different color lenses. Bucker Keens has come out with an HD edition, which is basically just a little bit of a less uh, mirrored lens and everything else like that. So you can style your command mask with any color lens that you want to, which is really cool, and you're doing it at half the price of most other lenses, which is really cool. So, Absolutely. Um, what else? One other thing I wanted to ask you, Joel, was if you could only use the command for the rest of your paintball playing career, which colorway would you pick? That's hard. I really like the black series that they've got going on. So they've got like a black, uh, black and red, a black and green, like an all black, and then a black panther. 
um, and everything else like that. I'm going to say probably the Black Carbon, which is the one that I have right now that I use. Mm -hmm. And what's nice, uh, the Black Carbon is like a, a chrome mirrored lens, but a black mask. So um, I really like the Black Carbon. What about you? For me, I think it would be the Black Panther. I like the gray accenting on it. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, I, for, like, I do prefer black. That's kind of been my theme the last like year or so. It's just like simple blackout kind of stuff. Yeah. But a little bit of accent never hurts, and I do really like that color scheme on the Black Panther. For sure. So these retail for anywhere from 140 to 175 dollars, depending upon the time of the year. So like in comparison, you're definitely talking a high-end mask, um, but you're definitely getting, in my opinion, a bang for your buck. Um, the only thing that I like to mention is that for this price point, when it comes to other masks in the price point, you're talking the Die i5, you're talking the Push Unite mask. The Push Unite mask is kind of separated in the fact that it does come with its own goggle case, which is yep. nice. Um, whereas like the Die i5 and the Bunker Kings Command only comes with a goggle bag. My thing about the i5 is it's not like this individualized, really stylish goggle bag. Yep. And then the Push mask uh, has the goggle case. So I would say that this is kind of like in the middle of the road between those three comparisons. That the Push definitely wins, the Command is definitely second, and then the i5 just has like a standard Die goggle bag. Yep. So for me, out of the three, the Command Mask is definitely my favorite between the Die i5 as well as the Push Mask. I've tried all three on, and I just love the way that the Bunker Kings Command fits, and I really love, A, the design behind it and how stylish all the different styles are, but yep. also, like, the lens system, I feel, has the best field of vision. Yep. Um, and it's just really comfortable on my face, so that's definitely my pick out of the three. Well, guys, thank you for watching this video today. Again, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of the Bunker Kings Command. Don't forget to find us on Instagram and Facebook. He's going to, yeah. Should I put it on? Here <laughs> we it. go. Let's see it. Let's do a fit. It goes with your shirt, too. My chin strap. <laughs> sure, probably undone that. <laughs> oh, it's too tight. It's made for skinny faces. There it is, guys. All right, well, hey, thank you for checking out this video. We'll see you in the next one.